Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with another video and today I want to show you how you can scatter and instance objects in Houdini. I'm using Octane as render engine, but these methods should work similar with other render engines as well, as long as the instancing feature is integrated into the engine. So why would you scatter and instance objects and what's the difference to just scattering objects onto a surface? All right, let me explain it this way. Let's say you have a tree and you want to copy it on your scene. So you copy it five times and then you will have five trees in your scene. In contrast to that, when instancing, you just have one tree and you create the points you want to instance it to. And when rendering, this geometry which is loaded is instanced to the points, which saves a lot of data in comparison to when you load five objects. So to clarify, this is one tree and four points and this is five trees. So a lot more geometry. All right, let's start with the first one. Here we have the object one, uh, object A, which is scattered onto the grid, which is my surface here. This method works, like I said, pretty simple, but it's also not um, as customizable and as, uh, let, let me say, easy to work with if you have a more complex project. So first you will need to create um, points, which I have here. I merged the grid and show it. Here's the grid. And then I copied points onto there. It's hard to see, maybe let me show them like this. Here's the points. And then I put a null here as output. Then you create an instance, no uh, instance node, it's called instance, like this. And you import the points. You can also create them in here, but uh, for me, just um, for organiz organizational purposes, I put another node for it. So I'm merging in the points. And then under instance, you can select the object you want to instance. For me, this is object A, which is the tube, as you can see. This works really well, and it's also taking the attributes from the points. So scale, rotation, whatever. It's taking the attributes and putting them onto the object. Now, uh, let me show you method B, because as soon as you want to scatter more objects, this is going to get like it's gonna get really messy because you'll have tons of nodes. So method B gets rid of that problem. And it's, in my opinion, a lot better to work with. Let's disable this and put a view black on here. Let's render this. And as you can see, there's all three objects scattered and randomly uh, distributed. For that, uh, we just need one node. Uh, let's, it's just a geometry node, and then I imported the grid again, scattered some points, let me show it, here's the points, and then you create an object, uh, an attribute, which is called instance. You set it type string, and you create an attribute randomize. In the attribute randomize, you set the instance attribute, and set the distribution to custom discrete. Then you will get this, uh, this field, which you need to set to string. And here you can select the objects you want to scatter. For me, I always pin this and then go to the upper level. And let's, as an example, add another one. And you just drag and drop the objects in here. You can also type the path, but it's easy like that. And then uh, you can just render your scene easy like that. You can also change the weights, like for example, let's put 0.5 here and 0.5 here and the distribution will change, uh, as you can see. But you can do a lot more. And if you want me to make another video on this topic and explain a little bit more in depth how you can manipulate the instances, for example, uh, cho choose random rotation or other cool stuff you can do, let me know and I'll make a part two. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.